Okay, welcome back. Um, I keep uh, having to scroll left to right when considering this for loop, and as uh, my blocks increase, um, I'm going to have to do that more and more. A little trick in, I learned in Eclipse was to double click um, right here on uh, whatever tab you're currently working on, and it basically kind of just minimizes everything else around it. So it makes it much easier to read the code. So uh, I also thought about the for loop that we were doing. Notice a crucial error, and I want to point it out. So let's take a look uh, at our three character array that we're accepting and the digit character array that we're modifying. So let's do an ellipse because it's a long and we're going from right to left, if you remember. So let me just leave a space one, two, three, four. So remember, the goal is to get that there, that there, that there. Now watch what happens when we run the loop. All right. So here, the integer, integer counter for the max digits, which is this counter we're using for the digit character array, and this counter we're using for the string character array. So we're taking. We're starting in the 79th character, right? And here, we're starting with the 0th character. Okay, that's here. 0. So we're going to go through this, and I, I'm going to have it set uh, whatever's in this position in the blue. You know, just uh, cons I'm thinking ahead of myself. Whatever code I'm going to have here, I'm basically, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to have the... Uh, something saying something along the lines of I know um, digit uh, car array um, counter right so whatever uh, whatever the counter position is uh, that's what's going to be there so in this case uh, that's going to be 79 and that's going to be equal to um, whatever is in the string character array so uh, th there's a specific syntax I'm not going to bother with it right now I'm just going to say string character array and it's going to have here uh, counter 2 and something along those lines when, you, when you're thinking about it, try to think of pseudocode not so much specific syntax so what's going to happen is this is what's happening when you run this for loop I hope you see that. Um, this counter is counting up. It's going 0, 1, 2. And then this one is counting down. 79, uh, 78, 77. So it would actually be sticking in the number in reverse. And that is what we do not want to do. So basically, what we have to keep in mind, uh, let me choose another arbitrary color, pink, uh, is that this is going from right to left and this array is going from left to right we have to choose a specific direction so I want to go from right to left so let's go this way from now on alright so that's one thing to keep in mind uh, 77, 78, 79 so how do we do this so instead of starting with 0 we're going to start with the length of the character array minus one right and we're going to have this decrement also so I guess that's one thing that you would want to maybe look out for in your code that uh, both of these are working together that they're going in the same direction maybe alright so and uh, let me get into this uh, default zoom view um, let's have our counter stop when it's going to stop it's going to stop when zero when it's equal to zero, then uh, it, it's going to try decrement again. It's going to be negative one. It's not going to pass this test, and it will exit this for loop. So now let's go ahead and actually stick in uh, the specific syntax that it wants. So we're going to have a digit character right here. Let's steal that. Stick that there. This is associated again, as I said earlier, with counter, and this is going to equal what is whatever's in i. So i dot.
character app. So this is the same way, the same exact way you would uh, in um, what you call it um, treat it as a character array. Uh, you see the integer index. Uh, that's what we're going to stick in there. I, I hope you see it. I can't think of the right wording right now to specify um, what I'm talking about, but I hope you see what I'm doing here with this code. So this is going to work out exactly the way I wanted it to do at the beginning. Taking it out of these three slots here and sticking it in the correct positions here and you notice we're going from right to left so that's going to go there that's going to go there that's going to go there and it's just going to stop so that's how that works so let's see uh, set length oh we never set this up so how is this going to work if uh, we don't have the length character array uh, initialized in the first place so we need to make sure that this I guess that's uh, uh, one point for uh, this little warning message that alerted me that I hadn't stuck it in the constructor method yet. So let's go ahead and stick that copy and paste it here. Paste, paste. Okay, let me try copy again. Control C, Control V. There we go. And again, we're providing I as uh, the parameter. Awesome. So this should be working perfectly. If I stick in uh, one, two, three, it should shoot, um, it should be storing the digit character array a uh, one, two, three. So we won't be able to see it yet. We won't be able to really test it yet. In fact, you know what I want to do? This is one thing I did in my other um, class is I set up a private um, boolean. Well, what just happened? Yeah. Okay, try this again. I set up a private boolean, um, let's see, variable, and then we call it the debug. Yeah, I'm going to call it debug, and I'm going to set it to false as a default. So basically, I'm going to have this every time it loops, I'm going to have it print something out. The print line. So we're going to be aware, aware of the array position. So uh, digit car array position is going to be counter. So let's go ahead and uh, concatenate that there. And then concatenate that with the, um, let's see, first I want to stick in a new line. And let's see, have it the length of uh, character array. Let's see. Well, I, I don't need to get the string character. Uh, I don't care about that. I just want to know what char character it's currently working with. So actually, uh, I'll go ahead and concatenate that with whatever character's in there. So, plus counter. Here I'm going to have dot uh, position and character. There we go. And that'll actually print out exactly what we're doing. So let's, uh, got 45 seconds left, let's do a little test run. Oh, I'm gonna try pressing play again. Java application. Uh, where's my console? Let's try this again. Oh, of course, this is set to false, let's set it to true. Oh wait, no, I haven't, you know, this should have worked uh, nonetheless. Uh, let's pause it. Okay, the reason we're not seeing this launch is uh, right here. This is the culprit. Culprit. Um, our test value. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, right here. Okay, so counter two. Uh, we never. Wait, where the heck is my test value? Ah, uh, I'm just sorry. I got confused. Yeah, that means I got 30 seconds left. So that counter is bigger than zero. Remember, it's going to be, if it's 3, it's going to be 2, and then it's going to subtract 1, 1, and then it's going to become 0. So, we have to have this the other way, and now let's run it. Well, almost complete. Looks like I had a bug at the last second, but we'll troubleshoot that in the next video.